A course aims to teach students to, to interpret poems and encourage them to enjoy the depth of meaning and poetry with, without detracting from their enjoyment. The only thing that detracted me from my enjoyment was the $3,330 price tag. Good morning. Welcome back. How you doing? Coffee's good. Weather's pretty nice. Frustrations and humor are on full display this morning. Because <laughs> yesterday we got Dave officially registered for the new school that he's been transferred to. And it was interesting. I'm not going to lie. Um, their official registration was last week, but because he didn't get the packet in time, we got to bring it today, which was much more convenient, I think, because there wasn't a huge line. But <laughs> then you get into school fees. You know, I know previously we've talked about school uniforms and how spendy they are to get them ready to go. And then you, you get to the school and you have your school fees. And it's an interesting take. So the school fee is traditionally $7,500. But if you're on the part program, um, it's supposed to be $5,000 and being that the kids are wards of the state, which is also another option, um, that full amount isn't always necessary to pay. So I tried to explain to them that they were on part of their previous school and their wards of the state. And I got, well, if you don't have a letter, you're, you're going to pay the full price. And so <laughs> we don't have a letter. We've, we've requested a letter from the powers that be, and we'll see how long, if that comes to uh, fruition anytime soon. But then, on top of that, hold on. Putting the coffee down. On top of that, you have the, the, the books and supply list. So we bought some crests, we bought some appellates, now that I know what appellates are. And the supply list, well, Traditionally, I guess, they have books available for rental at the bookstore so that the kids don't have to buy the books because they may or may not use them all and it saves money. Well, the rentals are all gone. <laughs> so here's the book list, right? So today we're going book list shopping uh, for Dave. And it looks like about seven books or so plus a plethora of supplies for the um, art class, I think it is. Uh, but I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I, I'm starting to have a real empathy, I think is the right word, for trying to get your kids to school in Jamaica and affording all of the costs associated with that. And it's tough. Like, we have a, a bit of a advantage as a, having had a foreign income and a, a, a retirement plan. But if you're here locally, like I know what locals make around here, man. And if you take that into perspective with the costs for what schools are, are requesting with regards to fees and books and uniforms and extra things for specific classes like lab coats and I don't know, it's it, it is not an easy <laughs> road to navigate, man. But either way, they did have one book, and so I was going to show it with, with you guys today. Um, it's called The Man from Jamaica's Hills and um, published uh, about 10 years ago, maybe more, according to my uh, research on the inside cover. Revised, oh, revised in 2011. Based on the picture, a, 
probably published well before then. Um, and it's um, an interesting take. I'm actually looking forward to, I think it's a, a bit of a autobiography, but short stories. And maybe, maybe you've read it, maybe you've heard about it. Maybe it's a popular book around here. It's pretty thin, so I'm excited to get to read it. And obviously I'm sure Dave's excited to get to read it. But I was reading the back of it and I thought, um, it was interesting how, you know, like the back of the book, they like try to promote it and summarize it and, you know, make it sound really good. This ends with this. It says, in Man from Jamaica's Hills, the mixture of humorous and irritating events has stimulated laughter and initiated disgust throughout the text. Hmm. So we're going to check that one out. Some good reading material. <laughs> but I think it's a, slightly amusing. Like, I think like that's what our, our channel does too. You know, we have some similarities. We try to initiate laughter and sometimes frustration and disgust. And maybe that kind of summarizes what could be said for the Jamaican experience at times. You know, it's it's easy to laugh when when things are going well, and sometimes you need to laugh when things aren't going so well because. <laughs> Uh, being disgusted and laughter, I think it, they might go hand in hand, as long as you don't have coffee in your hand. So we're going to start the adventure today. Everybody else is still sleeping. It's like 7 o'clock. We're going to start having to train the boys to get back up again at 6 o'clock. That's going to be interesting. <sighs> we're going to get some books. So grab your coffee or tea, sweeten it or don't. Let's get started. Andre, how was the workout? Good. Why was it good? Because I like this. <laughs> you like the running backwards part, huh? Yeah. I got a question. How come I'm all sweaty and icky and you didn't even sweat? Where's your, you're not even sweating, man. Hmm? You don't know why? Did you do the whole workout? Yeah. Really? You didn't take like a lot of breaks and jump in when they were running around? Yeah. Oh, okay. Any questions? No, because see the car we run the part if we don't try it on. Oh, you just sit down and wait for the next part? Yeah. Oh, that's a good strategy. It's hard? Yeah. Why is it hard? Uh huh. All right, let me see your best punches and kicks real quick. Where's your best punches and kicks? Ready, go. Okay. Now show me your best run. Weapon. Yeah. <laughs> the other way. Yeah. All right, one more punch to the camera. We're done. It's time to pick my cucumber now. See eh? Oh nice time to pick. Time to pick my cucumber. See eh? See eh? Me pick my cucumber. I'm an okra. I never did a video my okra when I did a pee. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. I'm big up.
Right, it's not the prettiest, but egg and okra from Junior's Farm Sandwich with a banana? Breakfast. And then we go. Hmm. Working on relationship advice with Andre today. Andre, would you ask me about the cups? They're all Sonia's, man. Sonia's. No, that's not. What about the fan? Fun. Uh -huh. fun. What do you think? Sorry? Yeah, what about that chair Junior's sitting on right now? Sonia, you know already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, tough one, tough one. What about me? Um, you want you? Yep. Ah, and the lights. And the lights. Oh, and the iPad. And the iPad. Cheese and rice. Cheese and rice. Any other questions? Oh, and the ball. And the ball. Yep. <laughs>this one is a success. Got every book except, except the Spanish book and the ones that are available at the school, even though they're currently not available at the school. Now we're off to wherever Sonia wants to go. It's on? Okay. Fun twist for a Tuesday. We 
picked up the letters we needed for the boys. However, we're trying to get the passports for Craig and Junior. But in order to get the passports, I'd be able to go get them. Uh, we have to get a letter that says that we're their guardians. But in order to get the letter, we gotta give the child's care the birth paper and two pictures passport size photos but we can't give them their birth paper because we need the birth paper for registering them for school that's the short version does that, does that pretty much catch them up yep yeah so start, but then we have to go carry them to get them tr and we have to go carry them paper then go get them signed by jp and jp them have to sign up all our paper them so that if anything we get the TRN number, we get the TRN card for them because uh -huh. if the people from the <laughs> child care office will go collect it, then I will get them because I love this outfit that's like he has a just looking all official. Yeah, she just big old bomber glasses, just like clipboard out. Yeah, yeah, so we're also supposed to get their TRN because they never got TRNs, at least Dave and Junior. Me up, my that's why I just said at least Dave and Junior. Mm -hmm. Huh. Now we're gonna go run the letter over to Dave's school. And then we're gonna go home. Hopefully. If we got your TR and all sweet. Solid afternoon this afternoon. We're at the table doing math. Junior and Dave have the same subtracting mixed fractions with like denominators. Dave's opting to use his phone. I'm assuming for the simple part of the math. Dave? Are you using your phone for math? No. What are you doing? Dip on WhatsApp. Smooth. Craig's still working on his facts. What are you on, Craig? Craig. Which fact are you on? He's speechless. And Junior's eating peanuts super loud. Loud. It's Wilson. Yes, just your favorite. Junior, math, math, junior. Hi, have you guys met? Eh? Have you guys met before? Met? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you guys go way back. Now would be a good time to get reacquainted. But me not me. Okay. Sorry. Sonia's sleepy.
Right, Craig's been working on his writing skills and marching. One's better than the other, but we have the assignment of writing a paragraph based on a picture. So here's the picture. Cool, nice, awesome. And here's Craig's story. All right. The Tetra de Jongo. Mm -hmm. Four kids are playing in the jungle and a dinosaur. They are playing on a little island and it have a carnival and a jelly tree. They ride the dinosaur and drink jelly juice. The name the name is Tim Tam Sam Jim and Dave. Tom is seven years old. Sam is six years old and Jim is ten years old. How are we gonna end the story? With a comma. A comma? Mm -hmm. Except Remember, yeah. Full stop, maybe? Full stop, okay. And they all live happily ever after? Hmm? Did they all live happily ever after? Mm -hmm. Are you going to tell us? What? That they all lived happily ever after? Mm -hmm. you got to end the story somehow. Maybe. We know who their names are, we know their age. Mm -hmm. So how does the story end? With a comma. Craig, I'm stop, saying maybe. with words, how does the story going to end? Cliffhanger ending. Meanwhile, smooth. This morning I gave my, my peppers a good spray down for the white flies. Again, it's a quarter cup, a little less than a quarter cup of vinegar cup of water, a dash of soap, a dash of neem oil. And this is how I know that they're going to need some water because it's been a few days and I came out here and this is what I saw. Ah, so here's the before. We're going to get them all a good soaking and hopefully the after they look a lot better than that. So here we go. Right, Dave? You water your plants today? Cool. story I am by no means anywhere near a pepper connoisseur but I do know from urban legend that when you water them I want to make sure water comes out the bottom so the soil is fully saturated and evidence remember mr. Wilty like oh my gosh I need a will to live and a reason why I'm not even done watering in fact I, I just finished guess who's back what's up look at you I'm getting way too attached. Ah, <sighs> peppers. So today I'm going to water the plants and I go what up um hey that name Vieto. and then pepper these are beans And these are 
to me no these are okra okra and these are to me um, melon it's a melon Uh, and we're back for yet another edition of what we're going to be calling um, How much does it cost? <laughs> Sending your child to, in this case, public education. You get to buy uniforms, you get to buy school supplies, and you get to buy books. In today's edition, we went shopping for Dave's books. Now, we didn't get everything, but we did find three of them. First up, grade seven, Sunsong One. Sunsong One has some poetry songs interesting really small book very small oh is a graded course intended for use in the first three years of secondary school a course aims to teach students to, to interpret poems and encourage them to enjoy the depth of meaning and poetry with without detracting from their enjoyment the only thing that detracted me from my enjoyment was the three thousand three hundred and thirty dollar price tag Sun Song One, cool. Next up, with study notes, my father, son, son Johnson, two thousand nine hundred seventy-five dollars. Looks like a short story. Oh, this book combines an irresistible gaiety of style with a sensitive understanding of the relationship between a father and a son. Okay, I think uh, I got myself another reading book. Me and Dave are going to have a nice little <laughs> book club. Cool. Originally texts printed in 1974. It's been updated, but 2009-75, must read for 7th grade. And the last book we got, absolute necessity, Mathematics Workbook for Grade 7, $2,400. Might not be bigger, but you know, it's longer. Looking like, ooh, all of the great math stuff that we're gonna need for grade seven. And yes, it is the revised edition. So these three books, of course, they need to come with some handy dandy book coverings, another 350. For three books, we're at a total of $9,055. And we still need to find the Spanish Dime Book One workbook and apparently available at the school discovering geography workbook level one and social studies workbook for grade seven also should be available in september when dave goes back to school according to sources at the bookstore at the school ah <sighs> nine thousand bucks three books and a covering and we still that's that's only half the books that he needs sending your kid to jamaica public school spendy Okay, you know you can't film everything, but let's just say I had a pretty good game. Don't die, Junior. Ella. Who won? Owen. Who won the football game? You can say his name, it's okay. Tyler and Mario. Okay. Tyler and Mario won, Tyler and Dave won, Tyler and Craig won. They might be 12 years old, but mm. I'm not, so. Oh, sorry, Andre, what are we doing? Secret idea. 
No, that six is backwards, Andre. You know it's backwards. Andre's working on his measurements using non-standard linear units like blocks right near. All right, how many how many blocks is the Christmas tree? Six. How many blocks is the giraffe? Where's One, the, that's the camel, dude. Three, four. 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 How many? That's the camel. How many is the giraffe? Uh -huh. Where's the giraffe? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. How many? Yes. Yeah. What about the hot air balloon? Um, seven. Perfect. All right, color those in. Let's get done. Yeah. Any questions? This is the one, two, three, four. <laughs> cool. Any questions? No. Cool. What? They don't me I do my work. Okay, I'm gonna put you on time lapse though, cause, cause I said so. Time lapse. Okay, you want time lapse? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Andre, yeah. what do we do today? Work. What kind of work? Um. What kind of work is that? Adding, Add. subtracting, take away, plus. Okay, we'll work on that. It's subtracting, dude. Okay. So, show me number two. How many did you start with? No man, number two. <laughs> Andre, yes. you done? Let go. Did it go good? We have six this so. Wait, Me six where? Right here. Uh huh. And then what'd you do? Uh, two right. This is some circle two. You took away two. Uh, yeah, me take away two. Then me condo them and I get four. Yeah, you have four left. Yeah. All right. How about the next one? This. Yep. Me have seven. Uh huh. Seven. How many did you take away? Four. And how many do you have left? Three. Any questions? Yeah. What's your question? I have no idea. We'll have to wait and see.